so hello everyone welcome to this uh, new video so in our previous video we have started with the new module right and the name of the module is two port networks and in that module we have started with the first chapter that name of the first chapter is two port networks itself and we have discussed one kind of uh, actually we have discussed four different parameters in these two port networks along with the some of the basics of two port networks the four parameters are z parameters y parameters h parameters and t parameters where the z parameters are also called as impedance parameters which have seen in the last video and we have seen the different kinds of uh, values of dependent and independent comparing with dependent and independent variables the values of z11 z12 z21 z22 and we have seen the interrelationship with the equations okay that is we have seen that v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 and also we have seen the individual values of all of these when one of the quantities is zero well, one of the quantities of the independent variable when it is zero we have seen its individual values okay so now using those individual values they would be forming the questions related to the z parameters as such as this is the first question here that is find the z parameters of the network shown okay so here they would be giving you one complex two port network here these are the two ports on in the input side and output side we are having two voltage sources v1 and v2 and from that we are having two of the current sources which is coming inside the network not going outside as you can see this i1 current is entering from this side and i2 current is entering from this side okay and according to that only you should be writing the loop directions here i have mentioned here and name this as one unknown loop here i3 okay and we should be solving the problem such that we should be getting all these values coefficient values that is they have mentioned to find the z parameters these are the four z parameters that is z11 z12 z21 z22 we have the uh, general equation for that z, uh, z parameters which i write it here that is v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 so we have this right so now using this equations we should be bringing by using any method mesh analysis node analysis we should be bringing the equations in this form okay so that we would be getting the coefficients of i1 and i2 that is z11 z22 z21 z22 okay so now let us uh, try to solve this problem first step of this problem is same uh, nothing much to do you can start with the loop analysis here and this is the first loop you can consider here that is apply kvl at loop 1 or loop i1 okay that is start from here the outward sign is plus v1 then we have minus 1 into i1 then minus 2 into i1 minus i3 because this 2 ohm is between these two loops right so that is equal to 0 now solve this that is minus i1 minus 2 into i1 minus i3 is equal to v1 bring it to other side that would be equal to minus v1 right so so uh, bring uh, take all the negative signs common and cancel it out that is we would be left with i1 plus 2i1 then we have plus and minus is minus 2i3 is equal to v1 so we would be getting our v1 equation as v1 is equal to i1 plus 2i1 is 3i1 minus 2i3 okay but here if you observe carefully you name it as equation 1 we have got one e v1 equation but v1 consists of the independent variables i1 and i2 but here we have i1 and i3 okay so our goal is now in this equation we should be converting this i3 into the i2 kind okay this i3 should be substituted in terms of i2 because we need i1 and i2 in order to get this part of the equation so that we would be getting the coefficients of z11 and z12 right that is the first part so nothing much to do now we have got one equation from this loop right similarly apply kvl on loop 2 here okay let's see what would be happening if you apply kvl on loop 2 that is loop i2 start from here this is the direction of this loop observe carefully it is not uh, like uh, the same the direction is opposite here start from this v2 outward sign is plus here v2 okay then we have 2 that is minus 2 into i2 then this here we can see that the directions are 
in the same direction here you can see in both the sides it is not the opposite so we cannot write minus now we should be writing plus okay if you see here in this direction it is like it is coming like this and here in this direction it is coming like this in both the cases the directions are same not different so that's why we should be not putting minus here we should be putting plus okay that is equal to 0 so that is v2 minus 2i2 minus 2i3 equal to 0 so bring these two terms to the other side that would be we would be getting our equation as v2 is equal to 2i2 plus 2i3 okay so this is the second equation we could have got name it as equation 2 but here also if you check the v2 equation again it consists of i1 and i2 terms but here we have an i2 term and this i3 term we should be converting in terms of i1 that also one conclusion we have drawn so like this you have got two equations but these two equations are of no use because it is not in this form okay because the coefficients our goal is to find these coefficients for that we should be bringing it to this form right so uh, two loops are done again similarly apply for this middle loop let us see what would be happening so when we apply kvl to this middle loop we would be somehow getting the value of i3 right that we can substitute in these two equations and solve it let us see that now okay that is now this is i3 loop start from this resistor that is minus 2 into i3 minus i1 because it is between i3 and i1 and since you are considering loop i3 then we have minus 1 into i3 then we have minus 2 into i3 plus i2 hope it is clear why i have written plus because these two are having same directions right so that is equal to 0 so now solve this minus 2 i3 plus 2 i1 then we have minus i3 minus 2 i3 minus 2 i2 equal to 0 so what we would be getting 2 i1 minus 2 i2 then we have minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 that is minus 5 i3 equal to 0 so now in this equation now we have this i3 term right but in we have we have written these two equations so that these two equations this i3 is obstructing us because we should be getting in terms of i1 right so what we can do here is very simple in this equation bring i3 to one side that is bring this 5 i3 term to one side that is 2 i1 minus 2 i2 minus 5 i3 if you bring it to the other side it will be plus 5 i3 so now our i3 would be equal to divide 5 to this whole equation so what we would be getting 2 by 5 i1 minus 2 by 5 i2 right so that is our value of i3 name it as some equation 3 now this equation i3 equation this i3 substitute in these two equations that is equation 1 as well as equation 2 after we substitute what we would be getting we would be getting these two equations in terms of i1 and i2 only so you can see here since the value of i3 is, is in terms of i1 and i2 and if we substitute back in these two equations we would be getting in terms of i1 and i2 only from that we can compare the coefficients z11 z12 z21 z22 and get write the final answer right so that only we are doing substitute first substitute equation 3 in 1 that is v1 equal to 3i1 minus 2i3 that is that would be now v1 equal to 3i1 minus 2 into what is the value of i3 here 2 by 5 i1 minus 2 by 5 i2 right so now solve this now what would be getting v1 equal to 3i1 then 2 into 2 by 5 minus 2 by 5 that is minus 4 by 5 i1 ok then minus 2 into minus 2 by 5 that is plus 4 by 5 i2 now v1 is equal to so here 3 i1 minus 4 by 5 i1 that is separately solved 3 minus 4 by 5 that is equal to 3 5 is a 15 minus 4 by 5 that is equal to 11 by 5 right so that is 11 by 5 i1 plus 4 by 5 i2 so this one equation we have got here in terms of i1 and i2 you can see here so now what we can draw is from this we know that compare this with the general z parameter equation that is v1 equal to z11 i1 z12 i2 if we compare the coefficients z11 and z12 we have already got by solving this that is should be writing the coefficient that is z11 i1 right so in place of z11 we have 11 by 5 
and in place of z12 we have 4 by 5 so like this we got the first two values z11 and z12 so now after substituting equation 3 in equation 2 that is v2 is equal to what we have got 2i2 plus 2i3 right 2i2 plus 2i3 so this is the equation in this you should be substituting the value of i3 that is 2i2 plus 2 into 2 by 5 i1 minus 2 by 5 i2 again we are getting in terms of i1 and i2 so v2 would be equal to 2 i2 2 2 is a 4 so 4 by 5 i1 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 by 5 i2 so that v2 would be equal to write this 4 by 5 i1 first then 2 minus 4 by 5 again 2 minus 4 by 5 that is 5 to the 10 minus 4 whole divided by 5 10 minus 4 is 6 so that is minus 6 by 5 sorry plus 6 by 5 i2 okay so this is our v2 equation from this we would be getting the coefficients z21 that is equal to 4 by 5 and z22 that is equal to 6 by 5 like this we got all four coefficients z11 z12 z21 z22 this is our final answer that is finally z parameters that is we should be writing one z matrix with the value z11 z12 z21 z22 like this okay the first value is 11 by 5 keep it as it is don't need to simplify okay you can keep it as it is then z12 is 4 by 5 z21 is again 4 by 5 z22 is 6 by 5. Like this you should be writing in one matrix the final answer and concluding your answer. So hope this is clear. This is one method to solve this kind of problem. We should be analyzing. <coughs> we should be analyzing the circuit very carefully and then we should be solving the problem. Okay. So I have taken a lot of time and solved this because I think that this uh, you should be understanding this very well. So that's why I have taken a lot of time. Okay. So this is one problem here. So hope this is clear. Let us uh, solve one more problem and be still more clear about the concept. Okay. So this is the next question. Again in this question they have asked us to find the Z parameters. Okay. Like this they have given one circuit. We should be analyzing the circuit first. So see they have given the current directions I1 and I2. So in that case only you should be writing the loop directions here. I1, I2. And in the middle I have named this uh, loop as I3. And here they have given one dependent source that is Ix by 2. That is current controlled current source. So that Ix current is flowing through this 5 ohm resistor. Okay. So our first thing is write the value of Ix. What is Ix? Ix is between these two loops right I2 and I3 and these two loops are having the same directions. So that would be equal to I2 plus I3. Okay. We have got one equation like this. One more equation we should be writing that is what is this Ix by 2. If you observe carefully here. This Ix by 2 acts as a uh, current source between these two loops. That is we can write that Ix by 2 is equal to I1 minus I3. Right. I1 minus I3 because it is between these two loops and these two loops are having opposite directions. So minus sign comes. Now what to do? Simple. Substitute this Ix here that is Ix is equal to I2 plus I3 and go on solving. Ix is equal to I2 plus I3. So I2 plus I3 divided by 2 is equal to I1 minus I3. So what we would be getting? I2 plus I3. So bring multiply this 2 here cross multiply. So we would be getting 2I1 minus 2I3 that is 2I1 so bring this i2 to other side that would be equal to minus i2 then uh, i3 bring it to this side so that would be equal to minus 3 i3 equal to 0. So we got one equation like this. So now in this case again here our goal is to find the equations of z parameters that is which I have already written v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 right for this we should be separately applying uh, mesh analysis for these two loops so that we would be getting this kind of equation but why i have done it here like this because here in this again the same thing this equation you have got right bring i3 to one side and solve uh, and uh, get that value of i3 and that i3 
After solving these two loops uh, uh, mesh analysis, we would be getting some equations in forms of V1 and V2. But here we won't be getting in forms of I1 and I2. For that we should be substituting the value of I3 in one case. Okay, that we are doing it first here. Okay, hope this is clear. Now bring I3 to one side. That is 3I3 would be equal to 2I1 minus I2. Hope this is clear why I have written here. Minus 3I3, I have brought it to other side. That would be plus 3I3. So I3 would be equal to bring this uh, divide this 3 to this equation that is 2 by 3 i1 minus 1 by 3 i2 so this is the value of i3 here which we should be substituting in the later part now apply a mesh analysis one by one for these two equations these two loops that is loop i1 and loop i2 first for loop i1 that is start from this v1 only v1 then we have uh, So if you observe carefully here, here this is one uh, current source, right? So it is acting between these two loops. This is a dependent current source. So you should be writing the super mesh equation for these two loops combined. So our next component is minus 8 I3. Then we have minus 5 into I3 plus I2 since these two are having the same directions, right? That is equal to 0, right? So V1 minus 8 I3 minus 5i3 minus 5i2 equal to 0 so v1 minus 8 minus 5 is minus 13i3 minus 5i2 equal to 0 now we have i3 term that we should be substituting here so that we would be getting v1 in terms of i1 and i2 only okay so that we would be getting these two coefficients here so like this we should be solving now continue v1 minus 13 into i3 is 2 by 3 i1 minus 1 by 3 i2 minus 5 i2 equal to 0. So what we would be getting v1 13 2 is at 26 minus 26 by 3 i1 then minus in minus plus 13 1 is at 13 by 3 i2 minus 5 i2 equal to 0. So these two should be minusing that is 13 by 3 minus 5 that is 13 3 5 is at 15 by 3 that is minus 2 by 3 so v1 minus 26 by 3 i1 minus 2 by 3 i2 equal to 0 so now bring these two terms to this side that is v1 would be equal to plus 26 by 3 i1 plus 2 by 3 i2 so this is one equation we have got v1 in terms of i1 and i2 and this is the coefficient of z11 that is 26 by 3 and this is the coefficient z12 that is 2 by 3. So two of the coefficients we have got here compare this v1 equation along with this equation so that you would be understanding. So now we have used for loop i1 and solved. Similarly for loop i2 we solve using mesh analysis wherever we would be getting i3 term substitute this value and make the whole equation v2 in terms of i1 and i2 and get the coefficients z21 and z22. Okay. So now let's do that part. So we have written the loop i2 equation wise after checking the loop. Now solve this that is v2 minus 5i2 minus 5i3 equal to 0. Now substitute the value of i3 which I have already written minus 5i2 minus 5 into the value of i3 is 2 by 3i1 minus 1 by 3i2 that is equal to 0. So v2 is uh, minus 5i2 then 5 2s are 10 minus 10 by 3i1 then 5 minus 5 and minus 1 that is plus 5 by 3 i2 that is equal to 0 so v2 minus 10 by 3 i1 then minus 5 plus 5 by 3 minus 5 plus 5 by 3 that is 5 3 is a 15 minus 15 plus 5 whole divided by 3 that is equal to minus 15 plus 5 is minus 10 by 3 right so that we would be getting again minus 10 by 3 i2 equal to 0 so bring these two terms to the other side that is v2 would be equal to 10 by 3 i1 plus 10 by 3 i2 so like this we have got the second equation v2 in terms of i1 and i2 and these are the coefficient that is z21 equal to 10 by 3 and z22 equal to 10 by 3 okay so final answer is our z matrix it consists of all four coefficients z11 z11 is 26 by 3 Z12 is 2 by 3, Z21 and Z22 are 10 by 3 respectively and this is our final answer. Okay.
So like this you should be solving for z parameters. Very easy, right? Very easy if you know some of the concepts which I've already told, I've told you, right? This module is a co combination of uh, the basic concept. You should be thorough with all the basic concepts. Then only you, you could be solving these kind of problems. So that's all for this session, guys. Like, share, subscribe. We have uh, covered with the Z parameters. In the next session, we are going to see one more kind. That is the uh, Y parameters or we can call it as the uh, admittance parameters. That is the, just the reciprocal of this only. Okay. Let us see that Y parameters in the next session. That's all, guys. Thank you.